Hi, in this video we will see how to uh, combine a basic unstructured Java project with a uh, Gradle-based um, properly structured project such as Hello Java and then combine the two of them and then push those to uh, your own working project. So let's assume we're um, looking at a very simple structure where we have a uh, Java source just in a folder. So here on the left we'll have a simple.java inside uh, the simple-java um, folder and we could uh, press the run key here so just like IntelliJ has some ways to support these basic uh, projects not based on build tools. So this works and it created a simple.class here but this is not a good way to um, work on these projects because as soon as you start uh, bringing in testing uh, and multiple source files, etc., then it, it won't really scale. So it's not a good professional way to work. So what we'll do is clone. So we'll, we'll close this. And from this point on, you should actually never use the uh, run arrow key anymore. So let's close that. And let's clone the Hello Java project as a template, and we can use the SSH uh, URL for that. So git clone, um, and then this URL. So it immediately shows up here in the file system on the left, the uh, workspace navigator. And now, so we're seeing the same thing here on, on the right. We're seeing the readme for that. And now we should be able to um, drill into this and drop in our simple Java instead of the uh, corresponding Java sources in the Hello Java project. So what we can do is we can drag simple Java over into the uh, HW folder which corresponds to the HW package and that lives in the source slash main slash Java um, section, which is the actual production code of your project. Okay. So now, in principle, we can delete both the simple dash Java unstructured project, and we should be able to delete the uh, old Java sources from the original Hello Java project. So we can delete these. And all of these things you can do either on the command line or here in the workspace um, file navigator, it's uh, equivalent. So now we should be able to go into Hello Java and then following the instructions in the readme, just uh, run this main method or main program by saying dot slash, meaning the current directory, Gradle W, which stands for Gradle Wrapper, and then run. Briefly, the Gradle Wrapper is a way to include the Gradle build system with a project in version control so that you can check it out and then just run it using the wrapper. And the only requirement for that is a, a version of Java installed, Java 8 or more recent. And uh, you don't need to install Gradle separately. So that's, that's why the wrapper is so convenient. So we'll be able to run this and there is an error and the error says could not find or load main class hw.main and that's not surprising because ours is actually called simple and not main. Uh, keep in mind that the class, the main class has to be public and its name has to match the file name so that is the case but um, it's somehow looking for a class called main and there is a to-do item in the build.gradle configuration file. And um, you know, this was originally called, let's see. Um, so let's see, if we call that hw.simple, then it should match this structure. So I think originally this was called hw.main, but maybe because of some experiments I just did, it committed um, 
the wrong thing to the repository. That's quite possible, so I'll have to fix that. But let's try it now. And now it says it cannot find HW simple, so that's actually good because it corresponds to what we see here. Now, what's still wrong? Well, if we go back to simple, here this is under a folder called HW, and the folder hierarchy in Java needs to correspond to the package hierarchy. So we need a package HW here, and that gives rise to the class whose so-called fully qualified name, FQN, is HW.simple, which is what uh, Gradle is looking for down here. So if we try this again, it should work, and it did. So that's basically it. Now, what we could do is actually rename this package to something um, that corresponds maybe to our, our project that we're about to submit. So we can then do this consistently. So we would have to rename the folder to match the package declaration at the top of the, class, uh, uh, the Java source file. So this should trigger a rebuild, but it should still work. And there was a little problem. Let's see what happened. Yeah, because we changed the package name, but we didn't change it here in build.gradle. So that's the last thing we need to do that here. And now we can change this to done. OK. And now everything should work. Yep. Great. OK, so now we have a working version of the original code incorporated into this skeleton. The other things you might want to do, well, there is really no uh, project name or anything here in the build.gradle, so we don't need to worry about that. So the question is now, how do we get this into your repository? And that's um, something we were going through in class, but I'm going to go through that again. Um, first of all, you know, let's rename this to Simple Java to avoid the confusion. Okay. And now you can either remove the .git folder here on the command line. Or actually, we'll probably have to go back into simple Java like this. Or you can do this um, here in the uh, workspace navigator. It's equivalent. In fact, um, this will work only if you enable show hidden files here. So otherwise, you won't see the dot git. But that's a simple setting here using this little gear next to your workspace name. OK, so let's uh, do that and confirm here. So now you have a working project, but it's not tied to a Git project. So what we can do here now is create a new repository uh, on GitHub, new repository. And then we'll put this also under Loyola Chicago code, uh, simple Java. Um, we'll put CS271-simple-java, and we'll make it public, and we'll create this, right? So this is similar to the way you would create or, or be, you would be given a working, an existing project for your uh, class project through GitHub Classroom. So you would be seeing an empty repository like this. So then these are the steps we we'll want to go through um, with a small variation, but this is basically what we practiced earlier in class. So we'd say um, git init, and you see immediately the uh, .git subdirectory shows up again. And now we will actually say, because we have a git ignore file, which prevents unwanted non-source generated files to be committed to version control, which is something you always want to avoid. It prevents that from happening. So we can simply say git add dot. So it'll add everything in your project directory, simple Java, that is not excluded by this git ignore file. 
So in particular, what you see here is a build directory, and this contains all kinds of stuff, including some Java classes, and you don't want those things to be committed. And the git ignore achieves that by listing build here and thereby excluding it from uh, the commit. So we can, because we have the git ignore, we can safely say git add dot. Okay, so now we can say git status, and it says, okay, these files are about to be committed. So it's just the sources, the Gradle wrapper, the Gradle build configuration, the readme, the git ignore itself, and the Travis, which we will ignore for now. At some point, I'll talk to you about the Travis part. Uh, now we can say git commit um, ASM. Well, the A is redundant here, but we can say um, initial import and it actually adds all of these to the current change set and now as you see here there's no code here okay how do we get this code in there well we have to add the remote so we can now actually add an ssh remote because we're doing ssh so you see how even the url down here for pushing the existing repository switches between HTTPS and SSH. So be sure to use the SSH and then um, paste this uh, remote at origin. Okay. And now only the first time you say git push dash u, after that, after every uh, change and commit, you just say git push. This is only originally to uh, set the master as the default uh, remote branch. Okay, so now I can paste this and it works. Again, without authentication because we got SSH set up. And now if I reload or I hit code again, then I have that same structure that the uh, Hello Java project had. Okay, and again, this is uh, fully Gradle based, but we were able to incorporate our um, own Java code into the, into that structure, just using Hello Java as a template for for uh, uh, retaining that structure. Okay, so now you can make changes. You can say maybe add another line here, and then you can say this is still a very simple project. Run again. So run is a Gradle task. And that includes recompiling any source files that have changed. So you don't need to keep track of what has changed. You see, so when it runs, it says uh, it, it includes that second line. And now to um, um, to push, so basically ultimately push this change into the repository, we'll have to say git commit asm um, improved uh, main. And then we can say git status. Uh, so it already, well, I, we could have looked at the git diff here, but uh, it would have shown you this uh, line that we added. And now we can say git push just like this. And now you can drill in here. And this kind of collapses the folder hierarchy as long as there aren't additional things at those intermediate levels. So you can drill right in here and it says simple. And um, the change is actually there. So let's see what's going on here. Why? What else is here? Um, nothing else. OK, very good. So it looks like everything's there. And the next step would be to work on the testing part. And um, I'll post something on Slack to that effect. Okay, um, we'll be in touch soon.